Good morning, friends. As I have given the responsibility of delivering the concept of Bloom's taxonomy, the part of teaching learning principle. So, uh, before I start my topic, uh, I want to congratulate all the previous speakers and uh, of last day who have posted their videos. And uh, they were fine videos and I felt that uh, all those people were very much confident as compared to me as well. So, uh, coming back to the topic, uh, as per the ped pedagogical principles, I must check your pre-knowledge about the topic so that I can relate the topic with the understanding or pre-understanding of you as well. And uh, if I would have delivered a previous lecture, then definitely I could connect all these uh, information to that lecture. So, I start with a question that what is teaching and education? And we all know that the teaching is the activity of learning and make to learn. Uh, you must be thinking that what is the relation of Bloom's taxonomy with all these? But to understand the topic, we must have understanding of both the concept, teaching as well as learning. So, here um, uh, I would like to present the outline of my topic which will be cover uh, pre-knowledge testing which I am doing and uh, objectives you can read out here. Uh, we'll be able to identify the different levels of learning, uh, what I am going to uh, deliver, determine the difference between original and revised, that will uh, the part of coming um, lecture, coming uh, parts of the lecture. We'll, we'll be able to classify the learning task in the Bloom's taxonomy levels of learning objects. Uh, definitely we will be able, uh, when, when we, I will finish the lecture, we will be able to uh, fix our lecture or fix our um, content of the no uh, lecture to the different levels of the uh, Bloom's taxonomy. Here again we can prepare a planned instruction classroom, planned instructed classroom rather, behaviors and achieving learning outcomes. Now next. Uh, introduction to the topic background and concept of teaching, concept of learning, uh, different theories of learning, change of behavior, Bloom's taxonomy. Uh, then we'll come about and uh, modifications of uh, Anderson, Crothwell, and last, last and most important topic is how is it useful? And then the feedback and the testing and analysis of mistakes and remedial teaching. So coming back to my topic, um, I'll, I was discussing about um, the, what is the meaning of or what is the uh, concept of learning as well as teaching. So I've discussed that teaching is a uh, process, is an activity of learning and make to learn. So both of these teaching and learning are combined. And um, uh, you know that uh, you must be known that um, teaching is a tri process. And uh, the three poles I'll, uh, I would like to show you. This is, uh, so teaching process, that is uh, first is um, educational objectives uh, for which the part of Bloom's taxonomy is and then learning activities will take place and the last point is the change in behavior, change in behavior of a student. So first point is uh, educational objectives actually, so first point objectives it is it is uh, two kinds of objectives are there one is aim and second is objective we have must uh, know the difference between uh, these two aim is long term targets and objectives are immediate targets so we have to uh, fix our targets as per our needs then learning activities uh, learning activities uh, before it was, um, it it will make clear uh, by me that what is learning. We have to be learned that what is learning. Actually, learning uh, have uh, different definitions uh, from different scholars. But uh, as a whole, we can say that the learning is the modification of behavior through experience and training. Uh, it means some somewhat I can say, naya sikhna ya purana bhulna. Dono hi learning hai. Jaysay uh, Dangal movie mein Gita ka coach kehta hai, uh, naya sikhna to bhool jao, 
पहले जो गलत सीखा है वो भूलना होगा ऑन द सेम लाइन आई कैन से सीखना या भूलना कुछ भी हो लर्निंग है हर लेवल पर और फाइनली चेंज ऑफ बिहेवियर उससे होगा ही सो द लास्ट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस ट्राई पोलर प्रोसेस इज द बिहेवियरल चेंजेस यस आई वांट टू टेल यू वन थिंग हियर दैट स्टूडेंट का जो बिहेवियर है वो एक्चुअली थ्री डोमेन्स में आता है स्टूडेंट के बिहेवियर में चेंजेस इन तीन डोमेन्स में आते हैं कग्निटिव लर्निंग इफेक्टिव लर्निंग स्पेलिंग इज रॉन्ग साइकोमोटिक साइकोमोटर लर्निंग सो ब्लूम्स टेक्सोनॉमी इज बेसिकली रिलेटेड एंड वट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर इज रिलेटेड टू दी कग्निटिव लर्निंग एंड हियर कम्स योर ओरिजिनल टॉपिक ब्लूम्स टेक्सोनॉमी सो Bloom's taxonomy. It is. It has been presented by Benjamin Bloom in 1956 with uh, his friends, um, two of the friends, in the book of um, Taxonomy of Educational Objectives, Cognitive Domain, Volume One. Uh, in this book, Bloom has told us that uh, cognitive domain. He has presented some purposes, some some objectives of uh, cognitive domain. likewise knowledge comprehension application analysis synthesis and evaluation and all these uh, six uh, objectives are working for the development of knowledge um, thinking process problem solving skills like that uh, in the minds of in the personality of a student so bloom has said that all of these levels uh, are uh, getting higher getting complex in with this hierarchy and uh, let's discuss all these one by one knowledge what is knowledge actually it is memorizing verbatim information being able to remember but not necessarily fully understand the material means uh, इस लेवल में स्टूडेंट अपनी नॉलेज को अच्छी तरह से समझकर ज्ञान की के विकास की तरफ बढ़ता है एंड दैट इज द सेकंड कॉम्प्रीहेंशन कॉम्प्रीहेंशन इज रीस्टार्टिंग इन योर वर्ड्स पैराफ्रेजिंग समराइजिंग ट्रांसलेटिंग यहां पर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन uh, के लेवल पर Uh, जो नॉलेज है जो कि उसने फर्स्ट uh, लेवल पर uh, अपने आप अपनी प्री नॉलेज और अपने प्रेजेंट नॉलेज को उसने uh, एक साथ लाया है वो एंड देन इस लेवल पर स्टूडेंट अपनी नॉलेज को डेवलप करता है अपने वर्ड्स अपनी वेकेबलरी उनको समराइज करता है और उस नॉलेज को एप्लीकेशन के पैरामीटर uh, पर टेस्ट करता है तो थर्ड पार्ट इज एप्लीकेशन using information to solve the problems transferring abstract to theoretical uh, theoretical ideas to practical situations identifying connections and relationship and how they apply basically application ke part par level par student apni knowledge ko apni information ko apne real conditions mein fit karta hai aur unhe test karta hai then analysis analysis is identifying components determining arrangement logic and semantics in analysis ke level par information ko student chote chote parts mein divide karta hai aur unke beech mein correlation establish karta hai basically then next synthesis it is uh, uh, it is a like uh, combination combining information to form a unique product requires creativity and originality yes yes it is the most important uh is part mein is level par uh student alag alag parts jo uske knowledge ke hain aur jo usne abhi analysis part mein kiye hain unko fir se arrange karta hai synthesize karta hai aur fir kuch naya taiyar karta hai jo pehle nahi tha and that is called the innovation that is called the creativity and last is evaluation making decision and supporting views required understanding of values it is the highest level or is level per student apni information knowledge ko 
अगर वो सूटेबल होती है आफ्टर द चेकिंग आफ्टर द पैरामीट ऑन द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ रियल लाइफ कंडीशंस तो फिर उसे वो डिसीजन uh, में कन्वर्ट करता है उसके बेस पर उसका एक